In this lecture, we are going to talk about nematohelmets. There are about half a million species of nematodes that can describe, and some live free living, while some are parasites on the animals and plants. And about 50 species are found to be parasites on humans, but only 12 of them are the most important. Nematodes or cylindrical worms are a large group of worms with a relatively simple structure. They have a wide spread and their bodies are cylindrical and unsegmented. They are thus easily distinguishable from other worms. Most of them are microscopic, such as parasitic species that attack body fluids such as a blood and lymphatic system. While some of species that invade fishes grow to a very long length. Nematodes are characterized by a highly efficient life cycle. Some of them have very simple life cycle and others have a very complicated life cycle. By the way, the body covers a thin non-cellular transcellent skin of successive layers. Digestive system consists of a long tube beginning with the mouth which is located at the end of front at the end of the front end which is surrounded by dorsal and ventral lips and there may be or may also be sensory papilla the mouth leads to the esophagus where it takes several distinct forms according to different species of worms a simple club shape esophagus like in scaris and in clistoma a cylindrical esophagus like in the filarial in the filarial worms compound double bulb esophagus in the pin worm and tribus vermicularis very important to memorize this structure and the worms that contain the structure of esophagus again a simple club shape esophagus like in the scars and in clistoma cylindrical esophagus like in the filarial worms compound double bulb esophagus as in the pin worm the intrabius vermicularis a repetitive form esophagus in the case of strangulite cirrocoralis and a cellular esophagus as in the worms trichinella spiralis and trichorus trichiora. There are two sensory organs on in the front of the worm called amphids and the second is the phasmid at the posterior end of the worm. Amphids in the front end of the worm and the first mid at the posterior end of the worm. These sensory organs have a taxonomy value in the classification of the nematodes. Methods of nematode infection by eating food contaminated with eggs of nematodes and this. May, uh, this may be infected as soon as they fall with the stool or need a period of growth outside the body. Eat food contaminated with worm larvae or eating meat containing worms larvae. Drinking contaminated water containing infective stage. Betray the larvae of human skin by means of blood-sucking insects. The first example of intestinal nematode we are going to talk about the whipworm Trichoras trichora. Worm is spread all over the world, especially in warm places where there are no sanitary means to get rid of the human waste. Basic host the human, parasitism site, large intestine, and 
vermiform appendix. General morphology. Like in this figure, figure one, the length of male is about four centimeter and the female is five centimeter. The body of the worm is characterized by two parts of the upper of the upper part is very thin and like a tail called the tri trichocephalus and so given the name web worm عشان يكسم ما يتبدو الصوتية للجزء الأمامي اللي هو يسمى تراكوسوفلس زي الديل لكنه موجود في المنطقة الأمامية which is about two thirds along and the posterior part is thick الجزء الأخير خميل شوي وسميك the front part contains a cellular esophagus and back part contains the digestive tract and the mouth the mouth contains no lips and anus is a terminal in male and female. The back of the male is twisted upward and carries at its end one copulatory spicule. The female is provided with single, with a single reproductive organ, and the vaginal open opening is located at the junction of the front part of and the back part of the worm. Life cycle. The adult worms live in the large intestine of the human body so that its interior part penetrates the wall of intestine and secreted substance that dissolve the cells, converted them into a liquid sucked by the worm. The adult female lays about 20 thousand fertilized eggs per day to go out with the stool. The egg is a small, rectangular shaped pearl and has two mucus plugs on each side. The egg contains undifferentiated embryo, grows in the egg and becomes an infective egg. After three weeks in the soil, the eggs remain alive for up to five years. They can resist atmospheric changes to a large extent, although their growth is reduced in cold weather. When a person is eating a food contaminated with a full grown eggs that is infectious, the larva inside the egg exits at the upper part of the small intestine where it penetrates the life in, in the intestinal wall grows there for a week and then returns to the small intestine cavity and into the large intestine where it becomes adult worms. Then the females lay eggs after about three months of infection. The worm remains alive for many years. The density of worms in the single patients in the single patient varies from a limited number to several hundreds. This is the life cycle of Trichora trichora or the woodworm. As you see, when the man get embryonated eggs inside it, the larva, so inside the human body, the larva, they form males and females and then fertilize, then the eggs laid with the stall and feces into the soil, then embryonation. The queen gene behaves occur in the soil and then the larvae in the eggs. So the infected, uh, infective stage is the egg contains larvae inside. Age and symptoms: worms cause inflammation and ulcers in the wall of large intestine and inflammation of appendix, resulting resulting in a colic, diarrhea, and appendicitis. The worm may penetrate the intestinal wall into the peritoneal membrane causing inflammation. Infection with many worms results in continuous diarrhea and a blood in the stool with general weakness and anemia. Diagnosis the detection of, of eggs in the feces. As you see, this is very famous egg with two plugs here and rectangular barrel shape. Prevention, treatment patients, wash vegetables well before eating especially fresh 
freshly eaten, protecting food from pollution by flies, wash hands through thoroughly before meals, instruct instruct children and adults not to defecate in humid in humid places. Dry the stool well when used as a fertilizer and to eliminate the barriers within the eggs. Treatment, the drug of choice is mebenazole. 